and a sizeable check at the end of it. As for a place in the next round, well, only one team was ever claiming that. Rob McLean reports. The Cup is Celtic's last chance to salvage something from a mostly unhappy season. Yesterday they played like it. First Division Montrose, who found a manager and a point in Jim Leishman, were mainly in reverse. The dream began to come apart after 19 minutes. John Collins worked the opening and Jerry Craney's bullet header was the opening goal. Number two, two minutes later, had its beginnings at the back with Gary Gillespie. He ambled forward, allowed Brian O'Neill to continue the move, but it was the tragic intervention of Montrose defender Callum Chammers, who seemed determined to beat his own goalkeeper, which set up Tommy Coyne. It was three just before half-time, O'Neill again prominent in the build-up, Joe Miller with time and room to measure the cross and Coyne on the end of it for his second. Celtic were now toying with the Lynx Park team and their fourth goal followed just five minutes after the interval. Derek White took leave from his defensive duties to show his wing skills. The cross found Craney's head, that was his second. So both Coyne and Craney now chasing hat-tricks. The Scotland under-21 strikers came first after build-up involving Collins and Craney himself. Chris Morris cut inside and produced the cut back to create an easy goal. Three minutes left. There was still more suffering to come for devastated Montrose. They certainly didn't need it. Tony Cascarino was on as a substitute and it was his knockdown which caused the goalmouth scramble which led to Coyne completing his hat-trick. Six for Celtic, an impressive entrance in the cup, a taste of the big time and a sharp lesson for Jim Leishman and Montrose. But they would enjoy their day out, I'm quite sure. Billy, never any doubt about that, really. You have no. to perhaps worry about the standard at the foot of the first division as much as anywhere else. Well, I, I, I suppose that's the case, but I think um, Celtic went through convincingly and it was the type of result they wanted, and uh, um, I think it just went to plan, really. Mm. Is that a, a boost for Celtic, and can you take anything out of that, Derek, or was it a very straightforward win over inferior opposition? Well, you always expected goals, you know, Montreux is not playing all that well, but uh, it'll be good to get goals, they're struggling a wee bit in the league, and uh, it was good for the likes of Craney and Coyne to score goals, something that they haven't been doing recently. That's right, confidence is so important for mm. a striker. So, six uh, goals at Celtic Park. Six